Klamath River, coming near I-5. I-5 is like only two or three miles. That one. My first time fishing with Klamath. I have no idea what to expect. Now I can't tell how deep the water is in front of me. Bottom. Not a snake or anything, but see, I might just have a sandy bottom. The rod I'm using is the Reddington Dooley. Let's see that. The first time using this rod, it's a switch rod. Four weight, ten and a half foot. Well, a four weight and a switch rod or spay rod, you have to add about one and a half. It's reality is more like a six and a half weight. We're using like a regular single, single, head, single hand rod. And I'll link below my, my setup for a line. To be honest, I kind of forget. <laughs> I bought this uh, a couple months ago. I haven't used it yet. But it's, it's some Skagit. Skagit line, I think. But I have a floating tip at the end of the Skagit, Skagit head. For my leader, I got just straight 3x4 card. It's about 8 or 9 foot. very bottom, I just have a regular uh, two nymph dropper set up. Uh, two different style of rubber leg nymphs on. Uh, the top one is, has this cone head on it. Bought this in Idaho. It's like a size six, but it's pretty heavy. And then below that I have a size eight rubber legs, unweighted. I'm guessing that's about maybe five feet above the indicator. The car is kind of nice just flipping the indicator around for a long rod. Probably won't try any uh, swinging, swinging on this trip. It'll just be a day and a half trip. I got here kind of late. It's 2 o'clock, going on 2.30. Just got here. It's about a four and a half hour drive from here. This is the bottom there. I spent the night in Wairika and came drove down here early in the morning for breakfast at the was it Black Bear restaurant? Big Bear restaurant. <laughs> I forget. It was a pretty good breakfast. But, like I said, it's pretty cold. Klamath kind of winds through this canyon. It's pretty narrow. And the road parallels it pretty much all the way almost to the ocean. Uh, the lower part is better earlier in the year. and. I believe the middle to upper part is kind of better, more in from the fall through the winter. The steelhead make their way up. Be careful driving on the road. It's really early in the morning. I almost hit a deer. And even though I didn't almost hit, hit him, I did see a mountain lion crossing the road. <laughs> First time I've ever seen a mountain lion, which I thought was pretty cool. Right here you can see it a little better. This water is a little too rough for fish really to, to hold in. It slows down right about here. It's almost like a little bit of a shelf too. It's a really good spot. Fish will generally 
kind of stage in s spots like this before heading up river. We'll kind of hang out you know, for a few hours or, or longer. So they head up water like that. This is kind of like a good ambush, ambush spot. here for the next few hours. Find a good spot like this. Kind of have to give it a few hours. It's not like trout fishing. You can kind of move around and find where the fish are at. Without a boat you don't have that luxury. Just kind of have to find these really good spots and really give it a good try for a few hours. Finally hooked into one. It's pretty small. It's probably a good hour of casting. So I'm not complaining. So you took the the bottom bottom fly, which is just uh, plain rubber legs. <coughs> It's small enough for the net. This could be one of those half pounders. It's my first time catching a, a famed Klamath half pounder. Oh wow, you can see the uh, the nets, the net marks on them. I believe on the lower river there's tribal nets, though I'm not sure about that. But first half pounder. There it goes. Another one. This guy looks smaller though. Nope. It's off. I think that guy was pushing the whole half pound label there. It's more like a quarter pounder. Quarter pounder. The main steel had run comes I believe in around this time, around in November. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, he came off. 
Oh man, that couldn't tell how big that was, but oh, it felt pretty good. It's definitely a fish. I don't know if you're able to see the wobble there. He kind of shook his head a little bit, then I lost him. That's too bad. Oh, there you go. Now this feels like a half pounder. Pretty good fight for its size. Um, when they say half pounder, I don't know. What is that, 12 inches to 20 inches? In general, I mean, it doesn't have to weigh half a pound exactly, obviously, but I don't know if this guy qualifies. It's a half pounder. I took the polar stone. If any of you Klamath regulars wanna, wanna comment below if that was a half pounder. <laughs> My guess is it wasn't. It needs a little bit, be a little bit bigger, but I could be wrong. It could have been a smaller. Smaller half pounder.